Last month, a tweet and a Wired article launched debate and speculation online about potential hidden motives behind the 10-year challenge on Facebook. The viral post challenged users to upload a photo of themselves from 10 years ago and one from present day. Many users saw it as a fun way to look back on the last decade. But in her Wired op-ed, tech writer Kate O'Neill said she saw something else. A potential ploy by Facebook to gather data to feed its machine learning initiatives. In the very same week, the Pew Research Center published a report showing that nearly three quarters of Facebook users had no idea the platform uses data from their posts and behavior to build a profile of their interests, which they then use to power their advertising business. Just over half of users said they're not comfortable knowing Facebook is gathering this information. So what exactly is machine learning and what is Facebook using it for? To understand this, we have to take a step back. Traditional computing is based on programming a set of instructions that the computer will execute precisely. The program could be a very complex piece of software, but it will never be able to surpass what the human programmer designed it to do. Machine learning is a kind of artificial intelligence that enables a computer to process a huge set of data and use statistics to learn from it, draw conclusions about it, and then make future decisions based on what it learned. To use an analogy, let's say traditional computing is a home cook. He knows just enough cooking techniques to make just about any recipe you give him, say a sandwich, but he has to have a recipe. You might be able to make a little input to alter the recipe, like ask for extra pickles, rye bread, a fancy little toothpick, but if he's using a sandwich recipe, he will never make something other than a sandwich. Machine learning, on the other hand, is a chef. She's been trained on how a recipe is created and some information on different ingredients. With a huge set of data, thousands of recipes, piles of cookbooks, not only will she know how to make all these existing recipes, but now she can start to create brand new recipes based on what she's learned. Machine learning has many potential applications, and the fact is, we don't know what all Facebook is using it for. One application we do know about is photo analysis and facial recognition. To understand this, let's take John as a hypothetical example. John went to a party where he was in a photo that was taken and then uploaded to Facebook. John wasn't tagged in the photo, but Facebook knows he was at that party. How? For starters, there are about 200 photos of John that have been tagged on the platform. So Facebook's algorithms already know more or less what John looks like. But on top of that, using machine learning, Facebook has been studying the hundreds of millions of photos uploaded each day to learn what people in general look like from different angles. And studies show it's working with human-like accuracy. So even if the photo of John is totally unique from all the other ones he's been tagged in, there's approximately a 97% chance Facebook still knows it's him. Now, it's all well and good if John wanted his friends to know he was at the party, but what if other partygoers were engaged in some illegal activity and the police wanted Facebook's help to know who else was there? Well, if that seems far-fetched, you should know that in late 2016, tech giant Amazon started selling its facial recognition software to law enforcement. Machine learning has the potential to make great advancements in medicine, economics, and other fields, but there are also very dangerous applications. The most important thing for you to know as a Facebook user is how much data is being collected about you. And it isn't just the collection of text, photo, or video posts that you upload to your profile. It's also how you behave on the site, what you click on, what you watch, who you interact with. It may even include your online behavior when you're not on Facebook. Whether or not you're part of the 51% of Facebook users who are concerned about this, it's always important to know where your data is going.